The heaviest I weighed was 405 pounds. That was 32 years old. While at work, one day, I passed out in the bathroom. The next day, I went to the hospital. He basically said, the next one's gonna be a massive heart attack. And that was the day when everything changed. I've lost over half my body weight in three years. A grand total of 230 pounds. I told my wife, I'm gonna get on stage in my underwear and pose. <laughs> I'm stronger than I ever been. I look better than I ever have. And I know it, and I own it. I would have to say it has to start back from when I was a, I was a kid. I was a nerd, so I would always get picked on and beat up and stuff like that. And my comfort at that time was food. I was extremely shy. I couldn't talk in front of people. I couldn't talk to people. It took me about two years of college where I was comfortable exposing who I am and the thoughts that I have within my head. This is by far like the chunkiest thing I would do. <laughs> I would cook my eggs in the bacon fat. <laughs> so, and then I would add on top of this like a whole bunch of cheese. You gotta hit rock bottom before you actually see a change. My stepdaughter got pregnant at an early age, at 16 years old. We knew she needed to finish school. So we made a conscious decision for my wife to stay home. I'll be the only one working. That put a lot of stress on me, so I kept eating my feelings. I got to the point where I still would weigh myself every once in a while, and it would just say error on the scale. While at work, one day I was in one of the, the stores and I passed out in the bathroom. I had like a massive pain in my chest. I told my boss, he's like, you need to go to the hospital. You need to go get yourself checked out. I went the next day, my blood pressure was through the roof and they did an EKG on my heart and they basically said, the next one's gonna be a massive heart attack. That's when I found out I weighed 405 pounds. My brain just went right back into like that bully little kid. I came home and my grandson, Julian, I looked at him and I told that boy, I will be there every step of the way. And that was the day when everything changed. I've been eating this breakfast now for the last couple of months. I eat 3,900 calories a day now. And that's to maintain because my activity is a lot higher. I choose to eat like this as well as be happy, but also maintain my goals and to reach my goals. I can't reach my goals eating that every day. I've always had an infatuation with bodybuilding because I grew up watching wrestling. I told my wife, I'm doing a physique competition. She's like, what? I was like, I'm gonna get on stage in my underwear and pose. <laughs> I did a bodybuilding competition in November 2019. I did my own prep, did my own diet, and I got down to 175 pounds. I'm 6'1", so that's very lean, very skinny. So I gained a little bit weight back, I reverse dieted, and I got up to an uncomfortable weight of 200 pounds. I've lost over half my body weight in three years. I go to the gym for an hour and a half every single day for six days a week. Training is a reward. It's a great opportunity to one, relieve stress, two, improve your physical condition, and three, improve your mental clarity. When I go and train, if I'm having a bad day, I never bring it home. I never bring a bad day home to my family. Right now I deadlift uh, 465 pounds. I really want to get to where I hit 500 and a 585. Levi and I met sophomore year of high school in 2000. Three and one. Okay. Levi has changed significantly since I've known him. He went from being a obese person to now being a beast, so it's a, a drastic change. Levi pr practically lives in the gym now, like me. I want to be the best me that I can be. I want to be the best version of myself, mentally, physically, and emotionally. I'm no longer that shy, lack of confidence kid. I'm stronger than I've ever been, I, and this is gonna probably sound cocky. I look better than I ever have, and I know it, and I own it. Let it go. <laughs> How many, how many times are you doing this back and forth? Let it all. There are gonna be so many people that doubt you. There are gonna be so many people that be like, why in God's name are you doing this? I have doubted myself every day. Can you do what you did yesterday? Can you beat those numbers? I always have those doubts and they're natural. It's okay. 
fall down nine times, get up ten. That's what you gotta do. There's no substitute for hard work. Hard work you can get anywhere. And I truly believe that, for me, the sky's the limit. My next goal is to be a natural pro. I want to be bigger, stronger. I want to look good. I want to feel good. The goal I have every day is to be the best me that I can be and bring it every single day. I know for me, it's limitless. And I feel that truly in my heart.